Hello, my name is Joe Miller, and since becoming the Prof's first in-house consultant a little over two years ago, I've won three industry awards supporting over 100 candidates from 30 different countries in winning places at Britain's best universities. In this video, I'm going to give you a few insights into Imperial's latest undergraduate course, the Bachelor's in Economics, Finance and Data Science. Now, given that this is the first year that this course will be running, there is very little data on it available uh, so far. However, from my conversations with the admissions team, we are expecting this course to be perhaps the most competitive in the country at just under 3% success rate. Therefore, being able to master the application process is absolutely critical. The first of my three quick tips for you is that you must excel at maths. As you would imagine with Imperial, which is a predominantly mathematics, science, engineering university anyway, they look at your math skills. As part of this application process, you will take a half an hour maths quiz, which is based on the AQA A-level syllabus. The clients of mine that took this last year said that the maths was relatively straightforward. However, time was a real issue. So make sure that you get used to working through mathematical problems quickly. My second quick tip to you is that you must create a unique identity in your personal statement. This is a hard personal statement to write, especially if you're applying to other economics or finance programs, because you need to include economics, finance and data science in just 4,000 characters. Therefore, make sure that you come up with an identity that marries all three together. Something along the lines of quantitative skills, quantitative methods is probably a good idea. My third tip, and this is also related to personal statement writing, is that you must treat the professor who is reading your personal statement as omniscient. That means that you must assume they know everything about your subject. One of the biggest mistakes I see students, even the best students make, is that they are defining key terms or summarizing the content of a book in their personal statement. That is not necessary and a waste of space. You should be using your supercurricular activities, whether it be lectures that you've attended, books you've read, essay competitions you've entered, but you should be using them to show off your academic curiosity. My fourth and final quick tip for you is that to do well in the interview for this program, you must master your soft skills. The feedback that I had from my clients who did the interview this year was that you would begin the interview with some motivational questions. Why do you want to study at Imperial? Why this course? But then the interviewer would take you down a different path, one that perhaps you're not prepared for. For example, one of my clients this year spent 20 minutes discussing the correlation between coffee and health. This is entirely unusual and something that you really cannot prepare for. Therefore, it is vital that alongside practicing your motivational answers, you also have the soft skills that it takes to engage in a conversation like that. Thank you for listening. That is ultimately just a handful of the tips that we at the Profs have to give you on applying to Imperial's new economics, finance and data science course. If you'd like support from us or any further guidance, please get in touch via one of the links on screen now. Thank you.